So one product stores versus general stores has been a long lasting debate in the drop shipping scene and people can't seem to decide which one they want to run. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a comparison of starting a one product store versus a general store for Shopify drop shipping. So to get right into it, basically a one product store is when you have an entire drop shipping store, logo, domain name, brand that's centered solely around one singular product. So the only thing people can buy from your store is just the one product that you're advertising and that's it. While a general store is a little more free flowing, while you have a bunch of different products that aren't necessarily correlated or related to each other, that you're all running from the same store and expecting people to go through and pick which product they want to purchase from. So right off the bat, the major difference is selling one product versus selling a bunch of different ones. And as somebody who's personally ran both of these types of stores, I'm going to get into the pros and cons here. Starting off with one product stores, the biggest pro is you only have to invest your time and money into one product. It's a lot easier to switch products, figure out what isn't working if all your traffic and all your engagement is going through one product. Now, a general store, it's going to take a lot more effort, money, and time to figure out what products work and if it's a good idea to keep running the store. For example, on a general store, if you have five different products and you decide to run paid ads, if you run paid ads just to the website as a whole, you're probably going to get a significantly less amount of sales because people are having to go through, choose what product they want to buy. It's a few extra steps and it's not directly to the point. Or if they see something a little untrustworthy, it's a lot easier and a lot less of a hard decision for people just to exit off that and go back to scrolling wherever they were. Now on a one product store, if people see a product on TikTok they like, they click the link, they're immediately going to be taken to that specific product that they wanted and you have a better chance of getting a sale from that customer because they're seeing the product that they clicked on to see. Now as I was saying with the general store, if you decide to run paid ads, that's going to need a lot more bandwidth and time and money because if you're running ads to a bunch of different products specifically on that store, that's going to be daily spend and money gone on a bunch of different products. It's where it's takes a lot longer and it's a lot more mental strain having to change products, change ad creatives, manage your analytics for a bunch of different products simultaneously, where on a one product store, you only have to pay attention to the analytics and the success of that singular product. On a general store, a pro about this is it's easier to switch products. Now, if you're running a product on your general store and you decide it's not necessarily working, you still have multiple other products that are still running and still have a chance of being successful. So with that generalized brand, you don't have to change anything about your store or your company to switch products, switch your focus on ads or creatives. On a one product store, if you decide your product isn't going to work, more than likely you're going to have to change your brand name, your domain, your logo, rebuild the website around a new product and its color scheme. And it's a lot more time consuming, but at the end of the day, if it's worth it to you to have a lot less mental strain and a lot more of a streamlined, clean website, one product store is probably the option for you. Now, another pro with one product stores is they're very brandable compared to general stores. Now, a one product store, if you have a specific product, your brand name has to do with the product. You have a clean logo and a clean overall website that's built around the product you're selling, it's arguably going to look a lot cleaner and a lot more like an official brand because that's the only product you're selling and you have so much more customization options available to make your website dedicated to that product and look a lot cleaner in the long run. With a general store, it's a little bit harder to build an official brand because you have to make something that's generalized that has to do with all the products you're selling. So at the end of the day, it's probably going to end up being just some general name with a simple logo and an overall simple, subtle color scheme scheme of only a couple colors because all of your products can be different colors, all of your products can have different features and different attributes to people's lives. But a con that comes with this on one product stories is that it takes a lot of time to get set up. Once you choose a new product, you have to build a new logo, you have to build an entire new product page and website around this individual product and hope that it's going to do well because if it doesn't do well, then you wasted a significant amount of time and effort building the store. Whereas on a general store, if you have a failed product, it's not detrimental to your business whatsoever. So at the end of the day, it really depends on how many products you're deciding to test, where you want to go with your website, if eventually you want to turn it into a niche store, if you want to build a bigger, longer lasting brand around this, general store is probably for you. But if you're wanting to 
build a really profitable single product store that's a brand over one product that could be directly advertised to a specific audience, one product stores is probably the move for you. And if you have a lower overall budget, one product stores is also the best move for you. But if you're deciding to test different products in the future and you want a quick, easy way to test and delete ad new products, general store is probably the best for you. So in a conclusion, both one product and general stores are both very profitable and both very reliable in 2024. It all depends on the pros and cons, what's more valuable and important to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about these kind of stores and you want me to help you out, leave a comment below and I'll get back to everyone if I can. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video.